Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. We're going to be looking at a couple of acoustic guitars in this video. Uh, both of them are Yamahas. This one is uh, Eterna, I guess is what they call it, by Yamaha. And... Uh, you know, for the guys out here doing repair work, if if somebody, you know, calls you about a repair, don't quote them a price over the phone. Get Make them bring the guitar and, uh, and so you can take a look at it. Because, you know, somebody calls and they're like, I'm going to drop this guitar, you know, my guitar off. I've got a crack that I need to see if you can fix. You know, can you fix a crack in the side of my guitar? You know, it's okay. We'll see the crack. Folks, that ain't a... <laughs> that ain't a crack. A crack is this way. A hole is like this. That's a hole. That's not a crack. So, you know, don't quote nobody any kind of prices on fixing a crack in the side of their guitar that you see their crack. And that's quite a... Quite a bit of extensive damage there that can be fixed, but the price point on this guitar, no, it ain't it ain't worth it. But anyway, I thought that was pretty good, you know, just to fix that crack right there. So, uh, yeah, I always look at these jobs before you uh, before you say you'll do it and how much. Okay, one we're really all about, another Yamaha. Had to do a little work on it. A little bit of a crack underneath the fretboard. Really wasn't much of a, really of a crack in the, in the wood, the neck wood, as much as it just separating, separating from the fretboard, which probably was a result of a poor glue job. So anyway, I'm gonna get this get this clamp off. It's been it's been dry in a few days. Or to be in good shape, so really I'm gonna have to reinstall the nut and uh kind of check the frets and set it up. That's just a little piece of stuff where that clamp was at. It's no no thing. And uh this is a very, you know, <laughs> something similar to the last one we looked at. But this one here is going to a guy that uh, don't know if he's going to want to play a guitar or not. He's wanting something just to see if that's his cup of tea, if that's something he's interested in doing. And that's all cool. This is a good, you know, we'll set this thing up to where it's going to play decent and that'll give him a little idea. At least he'll have something that he can, that's going to play good. It may not sound too great, but that's not the point. It's the, whether he's it got an interest in it or whatever. So that's what we're going to be working on today. All right, I've went through and kind of spot filed a few of the frets. It was sticking up so bad wasn't too many a few little high ones kind of get those down just some this dirt off of it some of these metal shavings off So that's got the fretboard in pretty decent, decent shape. Like I said, the frets weren't really all that bad, surprisingly. I figured they would be all over everywhere. I mean, they're not Gibson or Martin quality by no means, but at least they are. I'm just trying to get rid of all this metal, not have it floating around anywhere. All right, we're gonna go ahead and glue the nut on. I bought this brand new bottle of CA glue and I've spent the last 20 minutes looking for it 
It was hanging on the wall right above my head. Okay, we're gonna put a couple of drops on here. Stick this right on. This is the nut that came off of it. So it ought to it ought to do the deal. So this is some uh Starbond all purpose medium glue. Let's say I just I had run out of my other glue and bought that, hung it up on the wall. And I've been looking for 20 minutes for it. Okay, that ought to be getting set up. Also this week I had to order me another uh, bottle of the Dunlop 01 fretboard cleaner. I've been using this stuff for years. Of course, uh, you know, of course I don't get paid to do anything other than work on guitars i mean for his products but i don't mind recommending stuff that i actually use that i have used us you know but this dunlop stuff is man i've used that stuff for years i've got all kinds of different stuff and some people some people want something else so i try to keep some lizard spit and lemon oil and whatnot around you know because if it's what they want so uh Anyway, but we got our frets polished, leveled. We'll put a little fretboard conditioner on this fretboard. I don't know what, if it's, it's probably some kind of laminate stuff like vinyl or something, but we'll put something on it and make it shiny anyway. Know if it's real wood or not. Make it look a little better. And this is the Dunlop 02. Look, say I used it, the 01, the cleaner and the, the conditioner. Been using that for a, for a long time. But I hadn't been doing many guitars for customers. You know, you know, it's sad to say, but almost a year since all this mess started. Just, I mean, I didn't have, you know, just kind of hadn't done anything. Everybody's just kind of holding off. Uh, people doing shows ain't really, they're not doing anything. So they're not, they're, but now they're starting to wear stuff out. You know, just sitting at home practicing whatever. So I'm starting to get some. I'm going to start, I've got several customers coming in, you know, bringing stuff in. I should get some, one tomorrow or uh, sometime this week, hopefully. It's And it's, I don't even know what it is. I mean, it's a guitar that the guy's dad gave him and I don't know how long ago, years ago, whenever, however, Anyway, he ain't never played it and whatnot. He wants to fix it up and give it back to his dad. So that's going to be, that'll be something we'll have coming up hopefully this week. Like I say, I don't even know. I know it's an electric guitar. That's all I know. I don't know. It could be a bass. It could be, it may be a square bullet and it may be a 59 Les Paul. Who knows? I have no idea. <laughs> So we're going to have some more different kind of stuff come in, which I think all it needs is a setup. Hopefully it's not got a little crack in the side of it like that other guitar I just showed you. Showed you. That's, that's Southern. Showed you. All right. Let's see here. I've got, given the situation, somewhere along the line, I came up with this set of acoustic folk guitar strings alice i bet that's some real junk we'll try it 
their their light their light gauge extra light gauge i'm thinking i may try this on here like i say this guy that's going to be playing this guitar has never played a guitar ever ever picked one up besides well, he's picked one up but he's never played it played one so we'll see and we'll just look and see make sure all the strings are in here before I start stringing it up and realize there's only part of a pack. I don't even know where these came from. So we'll use them. Uh, the frets for my Ibanez Strat are was supposed to be here Saturday. They're going to be here hopefully tomorrow. They came through Atlanta early this morning like at one o'clock in the morning so well they give you two sets two sets of B two sets of B strings and two sets of no I don't know why they give you two B's. They didn't give you two E's. All right, let me sort all this out and get it get it put on. Get them put on. Okay, we got it strung up. Actually, it looks like the action isn't isn't too bad at all. Surprisingly, so uh, you know a little bit. A little bit surprised with that, but also the saddle is down pretty much as far as it'll go, as far as you can get it to go, and the truss rod needs to be let off a little bit as well, maybe, if it's going to turn. ooh -wee. Yeah. That is tight. Okay. See what happens with that. Oh. See what happens with that. And I have got him oh here it is right in front of me. Right in front of me. Never got nothing. Never got nothing ready. So I'm kind of curious what everybody's thoughts are about about Gibson buying uh, Mesa Boogie, what everybody's opinion is on that. Kind of been the big, been the big talk, been the big talk this week, you know, what everybody, what everybody thinks about all of that. Oh yeah, I know a lot of different opinions on the internet about it. I don't really have an opinion about it really too much. I just know that Gibson's track record for buying other companies out and making a success out of it isn't really all that great. So we'll see. tuners on this guitar actually feel pretty good. I had to tighten up the screw on the end of the tuner to kind of help it out a little bit, you know. Alright, let's see what our string action is. Oh, wow, let's see. 
think to right, right side. Okay, we're about two millimeters on the base C. And about one and a half on the bottom. And I'd say with these frets, that may be, that may be as good as we get. That's not bad. But yeah, that's not not bad. I mean, it's, it turned out pretty good as far as playability. I mean, it's beat up, damaged. It's got some kind of, well, you don't even know what that is. It won't come off. So, you know, I'm going to try to clean, clean some of the dust off of it. I did clean the, the headstock and the fretboard. Frets are good and polished. So that's going to be a great starter guitar. I mean, it had, like I say, a little damage right in here on the, the fretboard was kind of lifting a little bit. And a lot of times, you know, on these type of guitars, it'll be, if the bridge comes up, if the fretboard raises, it's usually just a poor glue job, poor glue, whatever. This is a very, this is a Yamaha FS325 BL, so I'd say BL stands for black FS325. So it's not really, I mean, it don't sound really all that bad. Yeah, it rings out pretty good. So this will be a good, good starter guitar, but you can tell the saddle is down pretty low. So I'm glad that action worked out like it did because they're mm -hmm. without taking part of taking the bridge, top of the bridge down some, there wouldn't have been nowhere else to, to got it from. And that was just the original nut that came with it. It was already off. So uh, yeah, I'll let it set up here a while and make sure this truss rod's going to behave and and uh, be ready to hand it off to him and maybe we'll have us a, you know, another Brad Paisley or Keith Urban or whatever out of that. So, you know, that'll be great. But you know, here where you can see my ugly mug, uh, you know, just kind of a short little video, wasn't much to it. Just kind of, you know, the usual stuff. This is, this is your bread and butter stuff. I mean, you know, a lot of, you're not going to do, you know, some people do, I don't, but I mean, you're not going to be doing all these vintage repairs and uh, fancy stuff all the time. I mean, it's going to be your low-end guitars, just basic setups and repairs and stuff. That's going to be what you, you know, that's the bread and butter. That's what, that's what I do mainly. That's mainly what I do besides, you know, every once in a while I'll get something pretty special, but anyway... Appreciate all my subscribers. Uh, keep easing up little by little, you know. So if this stuff's interesting, you know, give me a uh, hit the subscribe subscribe button, uh, the little bell. Give me a thumbs up, whatever. Uh, 
you know, got some more stuff coming up. I guess probably one of the next videos will be a refret on that, on the Ibanez Strat. Be the refret on it, probably about the next thing, the next thing we get into. So, uh, you know, until the next time, everybody stay safe and see you.